Jesus the Sovereign showed his majesty and beauty in his humility. In the 13th chapter of John, we find the most eloquent action sermon and lesson on humility in the scriptures, as the Lord demonstrated the full extent of his love to his disciples by taking the form of a servant and washing their feet. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, rose from supper and laid aside his garments, took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel which he was girded. In the hours that would follow, their master and teacher would be dragged away to face a shameful and brutal trial and death, leaving behind God's blood-stained message forever written upon the dust of the earth. And if they could not fully receive the message of the sovereign servant's humble washing of dirt from their feet, then they surely would not grasp him laying down his life to cleanse all from all sin. If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Our Lord's humility lifted us up from the depths of slavery, where once we were trapped in the shackles of sin, he has freed us to follow him. But to walk in perfect communion with him requires daily foot washing to keep our walk unhindered by the filth of this world. Our Lord continues his service toward us in his unceasing intercession before the Father on our behalf and in the sanctifying of our lives through the work of the indwelling Holy Spirit and the washing of the water of the Word. Our Lord knew the path to exaltation and glory was paved with trouble, so he prepared his disciples by demonstrating the importance of humility and the necessity of putting others before yourself, even when facing suffering and pain. He has set for us the supreme example of servanthood so that we might walk as he walked. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. We who have been washed and cleansed should look at others in the same manner as Jesus did and be willing to humbly wash their feet for the rocky, dirty path before them so they can overcome the obstacles in their path to the holy life and bring glory to God and his kingdom. Whoever desires to become great among you, let him become your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord provides these sanctified seasons of reconsecration and recommitment so that he can wash our feet and give us clean feet and a clean path and prepare us for further service. Because he came as a servant, we should serve one another. The disciples were put to the test within hours of having their feet washed by their master when they couldn't even stay awake for one hour and keep watch with him. May we follow our Lord's example in his humility, who made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, being ready for service at all times, and ever watchful for the one we should desire to serve most of all. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, that they open to him immediately, Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and your grace and the provision of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for the indwelling presence of your Holy Spirit, through whom you have shed abroad the light of Christ in our hearts. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sakes he became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us, 
and we also ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. Lord Jesus, may our lives honor the holy path you walked and prepared for us to travel as we serve you with lives holy surrender to your will and in service to one another. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In your merciful and mighty name, Lord Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen.